remember savable, view model, and save state. You have probably heard about them, but did you know which uh, two of them actually survives a process death? Have you ever left your app for a couple of minutes, then when you came back, the state of the app has been a reset and you have lost all your data? What is a process death? Why it is important to handle it properly? So, in Android, the process death happens when the operating system tries to kill your app process to free up some resources, usually RAM. The process death can happen because of a few reasons. The operating system tries to reclaim the memory by uh, killing some uh, background processes. If your application is uh, not in foreground or uh, actively used, it's more likely to be killed by the OS. And third, your application becomes a low priority when a user switches away from your app, which means that there is a higher chance that your application gets killed. So, when a process death occurs, it means that uh, your uh, in-memory data will be lost, the system will uh, recreate your application, where only the saved data will be actually restored, and your user might see a reset uh, screen instead of the information it previously had. So here is one project that I have made for the demonstration purpose. So we have uh, three different types of variable here. The first number is uh, saved with this remember savable uh, jpcompose function. The second uh, variable is uh, saved using this uh, save state handle from the view model. And the third one is just a simple number saved in the view model by using a mutable state of. So all these uh, three numbers will survive a configuration change like the screen rotation. If we now launch this application and uh, update uh, each one of those uh, three different variables, let's now rotate our screen, and you will see that uh, all these uh, three variables or values are persisted, which means they survive a configuration change. But what if we simulate the process death? Let's open up here the terminal quickly, and I will write here a simple command that uh, will basically kill this uh, whole uh, application process. But before I do that, let me just here uh, move this application in the background, like that. Now let's execute this uh, command to, uh, to kill our app. There it is. Now let's uh, retrieve our uh, actual application. There it is. And if we open this application back, you will see that the first uh, two values uh, were saved, while the third one wasn't. So the third one is actually a number inside the view model, which uses a mutable state of. And that means this type of variable will not survive a process death. Usually this is the way that uh, you are saving or actually using your variables in your uh, Kotlin multi-platform project or a project with Android. And that's totally fine. I use this all the time. However, there are certain scenarios and situation where you actually want your uh, variable to survive a process death. Like for example, if you have some kind of a search query that uh, you're using in your screen, it's often a valid case that the user writes something in your search field, and then it opens up some different kind of application, continues uh, doing uh, some other different work and so on, and when the user comes back to your app, usually that uh, search uh, query will be reset if the process that occurred and you didn't save that uh, variable. Or, for example, if you're using some kind of a, a tab navigation in your app, like, for example, you have a three different uh, tabs in your screen, like uh, Home, Profile, and Settings. So when you navigate within your app uh, and, for example, open up the Settings screen and then navigate away from your app again and you forgot about your app once again, the next time you go back to your app, the screen will also reset and the navigation will appear in a way that uh, you didn't actually navigate to that uh, Settings screen at all. That's why it's uh, crucial for you to actually uh, decide what kind of uh, data you want to save to survive a process death. And of course, you don't have to do that for all your data. Just the one that you think it would be inappropriate for a user to lose if such occurrence happens. So if you want to save your uh, states properly to survive both configuration change and process death, I advise you to use the save state handle, which you can also access through your view model. It's pretty straightforward to uh, save and read the value from the save state channel. So just call this a property, specify the key under which you want to save that data, and that's it, right? So with one line of code you are saving it, and uh, you are also reading it as well. It's always a good idea to save uh, some uh, primitive data types like the string, integer, and other. So what do you think? 
Do you handle the process death in your app uh, properly? Be honest. Comment down below, let me know. Other than that, don't forget to leave a like to this video if you find it helpful. And thank you for watching.